what is the difference between the two remedies? And I, I tell you that they are very similar in many ways. For example, the desire to travel is in both the remedies. Many of the cravings are in both the remedies. The difference is that the main experience of carcinosin is that of chaos and the need to control. The main experience of tuberculinum is the idea of restlessness and I have to get out. Now, therefore, when you talk of control as the main word, the children are very well controlled, very well mannered, very well behaved. Often, they are perfect. But behind that control is violence is the need to get out, is need to break free from this expectation, is the need to completely come out of it also. I remember that I was treating a, a young boy, must be about 12, 13, 14 years old, and he had uh, Crohn's disease. And I was, and uh, you know, it was a quite a bad case. And I was treating, and this child was talking about, I want to become a Nobel Prize winner. I want to make such, you know, fantastic inventions. His, his expectations of himself were very, very, very high. That's one of the themes of carcinosin. You know, their standards are very high. They cannot reach. It's too far for them. And they get so stressed about it. And he was a very well-behaved child. You know, he would write me birthday cards and he would put beautiful, perfect um, designs on it, etc., etc. And I gave him carcinosin. And he did very nicely with his Crohn's. And uh, what is interesting is what happened. That he every time he would come to my clinic, I would ask him only one question. What was fun for you? And he was hardly able to answer this question because he did everything only for his work, only for his, you know, class marks and achievements. And uh, no, had no fun at all. He wasn't a child, you know, he was precocious, more adultish. And then one day his father called and he said, uh, oh, something terrible, terrible happened. I said, what happened? He said, my boy, he came and he scratched my face. He's so angry. He said, never I have seen him before. What happened? I said, he's cured. I just said, he's cured. <laughs> you see, so you see the rubric I've written for you. Mildness, masking, violence. So, even though very well behaved outside, inside they are seething with anger also, you know, to have to stay under this expectation, this domination, this high standards that they have to perform all the time, you know, to the highest expectation, not good for them. But outside they are very controlled. This is the theme of carcinosin. In tuberculinum, such a control doesn't exist. So when a tuberculinum child walks into your clinic, you will find that he's just moving from here to there, here to there, here, knocking this off, knocking that off, doesn't listen to anyone. No authority can control him. And his parents look very helpless. What to do? And if he wants something, he can lie on the floor and beat his arms and legs up in the air and shriek and cry and he's so stubborn he's not listening to authority carcinosin is not like that most of the time he's the opposite 